Guess where we are? Epcot! Only one of my most favorite places on the planet. And off the planet. So here we are, Epcot again. Taking you on the Epcot Around the World Drinking Tour Part 2. But before we get into that, we gotta go do one of the most important things to consider when you are on the Epcot drinking tour, on any drink or any drinking tour for that matter, and that is making sure you eat. So we're gonna go pat our stomachs here real quick and uh, we'll get the tour going. All right, so here we are at the umbrella, what? Electric Umbrella Cafe. Uh, it's pretty much the first major food stop here at Epcot. Um, so it's a good place to stop. Uh, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good first pit stop uh, to get your bearings, to get some food in your stomach, and you can also get your first round of drinks. Got, got myself a Heine, got my drinking buddy Chewy, and we're ready to go. Now, as far as food goes, I mean, you know, since it's counter serve, it's a little bit limited. Uh, in terms of options, I am trying to eat as much grain free as possible. Sometimes we do a burger here uh, and then just don't eat the bun. Today we opted for the chicken nuggets, which are, uh, yeah, well, which are always solid, right? Uh, it's always solid. There's some, some minimal breading on there, um, you know, so there's still a little bit of grain, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So, anyways, let's get down to this. Gonna have my first drink and uh, we'll see you back on the road. All right, so food done, first beer warm up done. On our way to our first and only customary stop on the drink tour. Even though we're going counterclockwise, we gotta stop at Joffrey's, or jo yeah, it's Joffrey's. Joffrey's, Joffrey's, Joffrey's for the double vodka tea breeze. Here we go, let's make it happen. Is it, is it a bad thing that you go to a, a, a place <laughs> at Disney World and, <laughs> and they recognize you. They remember <laughs> a vendor, A vendor that sees thousands of people a day after a few months still remembers your face because you order the tea breeze. <laughs> maybe it's because I carry Chewy around. Maybe, maybe they, they recognize Chewy and it's not really us that they recognize. Either way, we're regulars at Joffrey's. Go check out the Tea Breeze to get a double shot vodka. It is delicious and a great way to start off your Epcot drinking tour. Cheers. Showcase. Now, it's uh, springtime, so they have the Flower and Garden um, Festival going on right now here at, uh, at Epcot. There's lots of art vendors, craft vendors, food vendors, specialty drinks, specialty food. So really, I mean, Epcot's pretty much where it's at. It's got stuff going on every season. There's no reason not to come here. Plus, like I've always said, there's a bar in every country. Let's go. All right, so now that we're in Canada, I generally stop at this jam, beer and popcorn stand. Um, but today, I wanna show you the other place that we stop. Again, the, the drinking tour is all about the nukes and crannies. So we're gonna go to the trading post. The trading post here at Epcot has, as it says on the sign, refreshments let's go <laughs> so now that we're in the uh, the refreshment trading post uh, we're left with decisions uh, for beer well they serve ice wine here for the so for those guys who like ice wine um, generally I will already have a beer in hand when I when I get to the trading post so we have an ice wine uh, but I am empty-handed so instead of just going just the ice wine I'm getting definitely a beer choices are Molson uh, Labatt or Blanche de Chambly. Am I saying that right, Barry? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Blanche de Chambly, uh, according to Barry, is, is very much like Blue Moon, and it seems to be their fancier of the beers. Um, that's a tough one. Let's go with, let's go with, a, let's go with a fancy Blanche, Blanche de Chambly. Against, against my better judgment. I mean, the, the Molson, that's a reliable beer, the Molson. Yeah, right? it's one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But just for the video's sake, we'll go with a, with a Blanche Assembly. Chewy anxiously waiting for his beer. <laughs> it's coming, I promise you. <laughs> I won't take too much longer. No, it's a beautiful pour. Barry's clearly an expert. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> Practice. 
Canadian magic. There right you there. go. That's beautiful. Perfect. That is beautiful. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You're very welcome. So here we go. Chambly. Yes, sir. What is it again? Uh, Blanche de Chambly. Blanche de Chambly. So here we go. Very. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. You're very welcome. Thank you. Cheers thank to you guys. You. Let's thank do you this. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely very blue moony. I would have rather go with the Molson, but you live, you learn. It's, for some people, they they would like this. It's not not really my cup of tea, but it'll keep it'll keep my my whistle wet, my whistle wet, whatever this whatever the saying is, um, till the next country. So from here, it's on to France. Oh wait, no. no. I know, I'm so excited about France. And we're actually, we're on to England. So I actually pound this beer. England's only a couple hundred yards away. And England is full on pub, so cheers. All right, so here's the thing about going counterclockwise on the world drinking tour. The country's on this side. Oh, the band just started. The country's on this side going this way feel much closer. I don't know if it's an actual thing. I haven't done the the measurement. I haven't tracked the actual steps in between each country. But we just left Canada and we're right on top of England. And England is a serious deal. Like this is this is no country to joke with because it's a pub. And so at the pub we do a shot and a carrier. But we're already two, three drinks in by the time we get to England. It's, it's all back to back to back because we had to pound the Canada. It's gonna be one hell of a ride. Cheers. All right, so we're at Rose and Crown Pub. It's actually, honestly, one of my favorite stops here on the world tour, uh, <laughs> clockwise or counterclockwise, because it's a pub. Pubs are what it's all about for me. I absolutely love pubs. Um, outside of Epcot and outside of Disney, I, I hang out at pubs all the time, whenever I can. So here we are at the Rose and Crown. I still got to finish my Canada. Should have gotten the Molson. <laughs> Cheers. Decisions, decisions. All right, so this is the difficult thing about the counterclockwise. For her, it doesn't matter. Hi, you guys have Jaeger? Jaeger? Yes, Jaeger. You do, okay. You want that one? Sure. Two, two We're shots. going Jaegers. And I'll have a black and tan also and then i have a jameson and ginger ale it's a double it's a it's a two-fister here at, uh, at at the pub and the drinks come very quickly if we're going counterclockwise because we had i had at least the beer at the umbrella the tea breeze immediately to canada canada where are we now in England. So I actually haven't had that much yet. I'm still cohesive and coherent. <laughs> Sun's getting low. Sun's getting low. It's time to walk. We're, We're still in England. Stuck here. We're still in England. I'm trying to plow down through my black and tan. Anyway, the black and tan. It's not an it's not an easy drink to throw down, so we're gonna we're gonna get it happen and we're gonna get it happen. <laughs> we're gonna make it happen, and then head over to France, which may be may or may not be the last country we visit on this drinking tour. Not because we can't drink anymore, but because of the waning light. Hey, big guy. Oh, am I the Hulk? The sun, the sun's <laughs> getting real low. <laughs> am I a Hulk? I'm not a Hulk. <laughs> Definitely the Hulk. But anyways, we finished out England. And now, where are we going? She points as if anybody of you know watching this know where she's pointing. Off to Paris. Let's go. In Paris, 
We don't actually get into the cut because it's all uh, it gets so crowded. A lot, in that. Of it a lot of it is ice cream and it's desserts. A it's a lot ice cream and desserts breakfast and wine and creepies and creepies. So the main jam that we actually go to here in Paris, it's the champagne wine and beer stand here in Paris. Uh, one of my favorite drinks, not just in Paris, but in all of the world showcase is the citron. Is the citron? Yeah. Is the lemon one or the orange one? The orange. The orange. Orange citron. It's a slushy. It's a slushy drink. You can get a double. But it's an orange, orange slush with uh, with citron. So hopefully it's not too windy. But this is definitely worth the stop. This is definitely worth the stop. An, an orange slush. You're right. I don't remember what it is. It's, it's both great brews. Great goose, but the orange is orange. The citron is the citron. <coughs> the citron is the lemony one. It's the orange. We I do the orange. the orange. Yeah. We do the orange. The Grand Marnier. Okay, so it's not the orange. <laughs> it's not the citron orange because that's two separate things. So we're doing the orange Grand Marnier double. It's a Grand Marnier rum, Grey Goose, orange, and orange juice. It's good stuff. Let's go. One, another orange with double. The double, 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 double. Oh, okay. Just an extra shot. Yes. 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 Okay. With grey goose or the great, the great, great goose. goose. Okay. So one giant and one grey goose. It's twenty-eight twenty-five. Perfect. <laughs> this is usually where it ends. This is usually where it ends on the counterclockwise around the world tour. Chewy can't hold it because it's in a cocktail glass. So, so this is something Chewy cannot hold. But as I said, a double. Uh, it's it. What did it say? The super. The giant. The giant orange slush at at uh, at Paris. It's not called a double. You just order a giant orange slush. And, and they'll, they'll ask you if you want a double on the Grand Marnier or the vodka. I opt for the vodka. But this is pretty much the last drink you need on the counterclockwise around the world tour. Uh, the, the, sun's, the sun's getting real low, big guy. It's time to go. After this, it's Morocco. We'll see if we have anything left, but just in case we don't, I love you guys. Here's to Epcot, here's to the drinking tour, and here's to Disney.